let me start by commending the Commission for being proactive on this matter, particularly High Representative Mogherini and Commissioner Avramopoulos. Solidarity and responsibility between member states is one step in the whole issue, but definitely a very important step. And after what we saw yesterday, it is not acceptable that some member states still think that this is not their problem to address or to solve. Coming from Malta, the situation in Libya is of particular interest to me, and uh, I was happy to see representatives from Libya here as well, because the crisis in Libya did not help, and that is why it is positive to hear that an agreement seems to be possible. I hope that it will get finalized, and I believe that we as the European Union, we need um, to get Libya on its feet and to help the Libyans, because yes, Libya is a very important partner for us, and having a stable and united Libya is definitely important. And finally, having a proper dialogue with Arab and African countries is of utmost importance. And here is my appeal to the Commission to try and push as much as possible for the Malta Summit to be a success and to offer a proper basis to start addressing the root causes which ultimately are causing the situation. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. I will give the floor to... Uh Mrs. Uh, Cordy, who is here, uh, invited by Mrs. Valenciano. So if you could give us a, a short presentation from your point of view. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for giving me the opportunity to be here. Yesterday news from the minister, I was very disappointed, like everybody else. It's too late to save my nephews, Alan and Galib and their mother, Rihanna. But it's not too late to save thousands of them waiting at your doorstep, asking and begging for help. I'm so happy for your speech. You guys talk everything what I have to say. I'm counting on you. Please help them. I tr I'm trusting you. You guys speak. All your speech was what I want to say. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Cody. I think all our prayers and our thoughts are with you and your family, and especially with the two children that they have a life in heaven. Thank you very much. Now I give the floor to High Representative Vice President of the Commission, Federica Mogherini. Thank you, Elmer. Uh, and I hope that all of us, apart from uh, using the one or three minutes for our own questions or interventions or comments, that we really paid attention today to the words we have listened. These ones that, for me, are the most important ones of the old morning but also those that are not said in this room. Sorry uh, to get emotional and to go back to my background, but some of you said today uh, it's the pictures that are changing the mood, and one picture in particular. One member state, but other member states, Malta and Italy for sure, I've seen similar pictures in the last years. This is not new. And all those children and women whose picture we never see still exist. And I hope that all of us here listen to the words of our colleagues from Jordan, from Lebanon, from Turkey, from Libya, from Tunisia, from Morocco. Have we listened? not only heard, have you listened to them? Do we realize in what kind of environment, what kind of world, what kind of neighborhood we live in? Sure we have to do more. Sure we can do more. Sure also together we can do more. I agree, we have to reflect on our mistakes. There are old mistakes, there are recent mistakes, not only European mistakes. Because the proxy war that has been played in Libya or in Syria is not only concerning Europe. Actually, in the last years, 
concerns regional powers as well. We all need to face the dramatic situation we have in our region, in our region. That's our region, like it or not. That's our common region. It's a European region. It's a Mediterranean Sea that's, and the Middle East. It's our region. We have to take responsibility for that as Europeans.